What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel, Boston Chris Comics. I am Boston Chris, I'm back with a brand new video. Um, so, in my last video, I had said that I was going to make one um, showing some of the books that I had gotten from um, Brian B. from Taking the Time Collectibles. Um, he actually went ahead and um, reached out to me um, just, you know, about a run that I'm collecting. And had told me that you know he may have some books that um, you know he can go ahead and help me out with um, to go ahead and fill in that run. So um, you know went ahead and took a look, and I'm happy to say that the run that I'm trying to um, you know complete is my Transformers run. Um, as everybody knows, um, you know I'm a big GI Joe and Transformers fan. Um, I recently finished my GI Joe run, and um, <clears throat> have gotten to work on trying to um, finish out the Transformers run. So, um, he was able to get me a bunch of books that, um, believe it or not, Transformers are a little bit harder to find. I mean, at least for me, at least up in my area. Um, you know, when I look for them, even on eBay too, um, you know, there's a lot of books that people will um, price out, I think, a little bit unjustly I guess I don't know not so much unjustly but just kind of people look at it where it's just, maybe it's just harder to find um, and there's not as many of them so they figure that they're all rare um, which I'm sure there's plenty of them around it's just kind of you know trying to dig into different collections and find them but um, you know just in, in going ahead and looking in different lots and different stores and different shops I keep coming across the same numbers which is the ones I already actually have um, but he was able to hook me up with a pretty good stack of books to help me out with my run. So, uh, I'm going to start this off with first issue here. Issue number 21. So, pretty cool there. Then, got issue number 30. This is kind of a weird one because it's like, let's see. So, introducing the throttle box, but I don't know what this basically like abominable snowman creature is. I haven't read this one, but I'll have to check it out. Um, next we have issue number 31 got rat bat you know terrorizing some people uh, next up we have issue number 35 so let's see I think I'm trying to see this so I think that's blitzkrieg if I'm not mistaken the triple changer um, in the blue and I'm not sure who he's beating up with that train but have to read that and check that out. Um, next up, we have issue number 36. So you get Skylinks chasing down some kids, which is kind of funny because Skylinks is an Autobot, and I see um, the Decepticons. I'm uh, sorry, not the Decepticons. The, um, wow. The Dinobots kind of. Maybe they're escorting the kids. I don't really know. But it looks like they're in danger. I don't know. They don't have a happy look on their faces. But. Seeing as how they're all Autobots, I don't think they're in that much danger. Um, then we have issue number 38. Got Scorbinock on this one. Pretty cool. Um, issue number 40. The Return of Optimus Prime. I'm not sure if this coincides with the comics where... Probably not, but I, I don't full out know. I know, um, and, and this is introducing the, uh, the Pretenders. So basically, like, you know... Um, I remember these where it was basically like you had these, um, so they're ba Transformers, but they're, they're inside of a shell, and the robot is inside of the actual shell casing um, of these, you know, things here. I actually had um, one of them, so it looked like a human. Um, he was an Autobot. Uh, I, I don't remember his name, to be honest with you, but um, I remember having that guy. Um, they, they were kind of cool, but there was just kind of like... Um, it was at a time where they had changed the toys around, and it was just like, oh, we're going to do these pretend toys, and, I mean, kind of, for me, it took a little bit of the fun out of it, just because, so, you know, you really you remove the case, and there's the robot. It's not the, you know, the robot turns into a Ferrari, or the robot turns into, um, even, you know, a, in the case of, like, you know, um, like the Predacons, or like, you know, a bird, or something like that, like, it was kind of weird, but, you know, it's alright. Next, we have issue number 42. So pretty cool. Um, then we have 
issue number 43. So you got Rodimus Prime. So this is following the um, the movie. Rodimus Prime fighting Galvatron. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Issue number 44. And so, um, get issue number 45. So we'll get Circuit Breaker fighting one of the pretenders. And Circuit Breaker is kind of like a human hybrid type thing. She gets introduced in the earlier issues. I want to say like around issue... Probably like around like... Uh, I think she's issue 15 or so. I'm not 100% sure. But um, kind of a weird one. Um, then we have issue number 48. So here we have Optimus Prime taken out by Megatron. So Megatron returns and kills Optimus Prime as far as the cover tells you. Then we have issue number 49. Starscream takes over, conquers all the Decepticons, have a civil war. Uh, not sure how that goes on. But, I mean, Starscream being treacherous like he is, who knows if he got to somebody or whatever. But, um... So the, the, what, what I was saying is like, um, I was finding a lot of trouble finding like, you know, some issues in the 30s and the 40s and the 50s. Um, it's only an 80 comic run for the Transformers, but what happens is just that some of these end up being kind of tough to get. Um, not that they're super rare, it's just people don't, just don't have a lot of, um, people just seem to not be listing them so much. So I don't know if this is something where, you know, people either just have them somewhere and don't list them or they're just kind of tough to find, but... Um, you know, really excited to be have, able to have these. Um, let's see. Issue number 52. That's a pretty cool one. Um, let's see. The Menace of the Mechanibals. So, these kind of remind me of, like, the Shock the Cons, um, where they're just, like, you know, cannibalistic Transformers. Um, this one is really cool. Um, this one I thought was, um... It's cool for a couple of different reasons. Number one, cover is really cool, and then the second reason that it's cool is because of who drew it. So um, here we have issue. This is number fifty-three. Um, so you have Autobot that's basically been almost decapitated by this lady, and this, my friends, is a Jim Lee cover. So Jim Lee does a couple of issues within this series. Um, don't think it's like super early Jim Lee stuff, but pretty cool that he worked on the Transformers. It's kind of like finding out um, uh, issue number 60 of G.I. Joe is Todd McFarlane. Pretty cool. You wouldn't have expected him to work on that, but definitely cool stuff to know. Um, then we have issue number 56. So this is the last one that you have with issue number 56, and it's a newsstand, which is pretty cool. So all together, nice little stack of books that you know helps me with that run. Um, helps me go ahead and, and uh, you know, get a little bit further to collecting all 80. Um, so, I want to say total, I think, I would say I have give or take like 35 left to get. I'm not sure. Um, I only need a couple more in the teens. Um, I think, uh, you know, maybe like one or two in the 20s. I think the 30s is pretty much spoken for. The 40s is pretty well done. Um, and then it's like, you know, 50s, 60s, and 70s is what else I need, but all in all, not too bad. And on top of that, to go ahead and, um, add to the theme, uh, yesterday I went ahead and, um, took a trip to Walmart and, um, had found, had seen online a little posting that said that, uh, you know, they had gone ahead and they were putting some, um, some of the Transformers uh, toys on clearance, so I was like, all right, definitely gotta check this out. And one in particular stood out to me, um, one that I've wanted since I was a kid and just never got a chance to get it, uh, just because this guy was very expensive. Even in the 80s, he was an expensive toy, but I can finally say that I finally have it. And so yesterday, I was able to finally pick up Optimus Prime. Yes. <laughs> so... I've actually, like, I think I had asked for this for Christmas a long, long time ago. 
um, back in the days when Transformers was really popular. Um, so we're talking about, you know, like, I would say I'm pretty sure this is Christmas 1986. I was like, I want Optimus Prime. Um, but back in the day, Optimus was an expensive toy. Um, he was still around, I think, $80, 70 or $80 back then. Um, so I've seen at conventions, unopened boxes of Optimus Primes and everything, um, and they go for like 500 Just, you know, an open G1. So this is the G1 um, reissue. Pretty cool. Doesn't have the trailer and everything else, but has the robot itself. So I was like, absolutely. Went ahead and got it. It was on clearance, um, so it was price drop. And i um, super, super excited to get that. So that's everything. That's my haul. So that's it. So I'll, again, I want to thank um, Brian B. from Take the Time Collectibles. If you haven't checked out his channel, please go ahead and take a look. Um, he's got some good videos on there. Um, and, you know, Brian's really, really knowledgeable about comics. Um, if you are, um, you know, in the, you know, down in Florida and um, get a chance to go and check out uh, the shop that he works in, uh, Phil's Comic Shop, definitely go ahead and check that out. Um, seems like an awesome place. I haven't had a chance to go down there myself, but I will sometime at some point get down there just to go and say hi to Brian in person and to thank him again for, uh, you know, just all the help that he's given me with trying to complete this run and my G.I. Joe run and just to say hi in general because he's a really cool dude. So that's my video. That's everything. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, everybody have a great night. I'm out. See you later.